I'm getting ready to head out to sell a load of scrap. That's aluminum. This is the the small steel. They don't like that. It's nails and screws and stuff. And this, I'm not entirely sure they'll take. I called them. They said they would take it. They said they'd pay 50 cents a pound for it. But I'm not sure the woman I talked to knew what I was discussing. That is electric motors. Uh, at least those electric motors with it getting the copper out wasn't simple. That's copper. That's, just, that's the big money winner. And then I got a bundle of unstripped wire. On the trailer, of course, I have the car. So she's a hot damn mess. This is the rest of it. I won't get a whole lot for it, and I don't expect to, to be honest with you. I'll get scrap uh, tin, my guess is for the car and everything on here. Uh, but that's, that's life when you don't sort it. So, who knows? With luck, I'll do okay. I do tend to get pretty low prices uh, for things like batteries. In fact, I'm not sure they'll even take it. I'm sure they'll take it, but they won't pay me for it. But I get low prices for that because they're the only scrapyard in 150 miles. So that's that's life in the country sometimes. I'll just be happy to get it off my trailer because I got other things to do. So, 323, we had almost 3,000 pounds of tin and car bodies, that was 222. We had 96 pounds of circuit boards at 25 cents a piece, which was half of what they said on the phone. 
84 pounds of batteries at 20 cents a piece, 16 pounds of copper at $2.10, 15 pounds of electric motors at 20 cents, Hey, buddy. and then 18 pounds of insulated copper at 80 cents, and 20 pounds of aluminum at 50 cents. So, it, uh, it wasn't a bad, wasn't a bad trip, certainly paid for gas.